Hey guys, it's Vera and I want, and I'm talking about Sony State of Play. Yes, there has been a new State of Play announced for August 6th, which is this Thursday at 9 p.m. BST, which is about 4 p.m. Eastern time zone. Actually pretty late for one of these things in my opinion, but it's going to be about 40 minutes, which I think is a good amount of time to include a good amount of gameplay. This time they're going to focus on third party and indie games coming to the PS4, PSVR, and PS5. So that's cool. It's cool to see what type of third parties. Hopefully we'll get some new announcement. But they did say there will be no PlayStation Studio updates in Thursday's episode. So basically what they're meaning is you're not getting the price. <laughs> and according to the article, no first party game updates either. So there'll be no price. Basically nothing coming from PlayStation Studios. This is about third party. So hopefully there are some pretty good third party game announcements. I mean, we don't need every single one to be about first party in my opinion. So it's kind of good to see some third party hopefully we get some good new third party announcements but the thing is that obviously since this is third party indie games i feel like most of this will be non-exclusives and i also feel like most of this will be cross play which will be good in my opinion i mean if a lot of these games they're announced are good and they're cross play then it doesn't matter whether you own the ps4 ps5 xbox one or xbox series x in my opinion because the game will be crossplay, so you can play with your friends no matter what system they're on, I think. Because this is third-party games. We really don't know what we're getting. We don't know which studios are going to be showing up exactly. We don't know what we don't know what games are going to be showing up. But it is good to see that they're going to be giving us some updates on their third parties and in indie games. What games do you think are going to show up at this Sony state of play? And are you guys disappointed that there's not going to be any PlayStation Studio updates, which basically seems to mean no first-party updates or pricing details on the PS5? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. May God bless you all.